Welcome. In this video, we will walk through the steps to set up the Insight L38 to acquire and record images in minimal steps. Before we begin, make sure the L38 device is powered on and properly calibrated and Insight Vision Suite is open. Please refer to the simple image acquisition, setup and calibration video for the steps to properly calibrate your Insight L38. First, we will prepare the part for acquisition. Place your part under the laser area. For optimal lighting, make sure the tallest portion of the part is laser line. Go to the Profile tab on the left and click the Auto button in the Exposure section. This will determine the best exposure for scanning. In the display area, the laser line from the acquisition will appear. To improve acquisition detection, you can adjust the detection zone with the Configure the Detection Zone button. Drag the cyan lines to expand or reduce the size of the detection zone based on the size of your parts in the Z dimension. Next, move to the Point Cloud tab and adjust the requested scan length to the length of the part. It's advised that the scan length is slightly longer than the part to add a buffer. Cognex recommends starting at 150 mm. Now the part should be ready to be scanned. Click the Trigger Point Cloud button and scan the part. The point cloud should show up in the window after one scan. You can adjust the requested scan length to better position the scan. Next, let's become familiar with the visualization tools for the point cloud. To change the perspective of the part, simply left-click the point cloud and drag with the mouse. This will change the orientation. To change the perspective of the image, click the corresponding side of the cube in the toolbar you wish to view. To pan around the viewer, hold the shift button and drag with the mouse. To zoom in and out, scroll up and down on the scroll wheel of the mouse. If you are ever disoriented and lose the model, simply click the Fit 3D Image to Window button and your part will reposition itself. If you wish to see how the 2D image would look on the 3D part itself, toggle the Color 3D Image by Texture button. Drag the slider to determine opacity on the point cloud. Another effective tool is Toggle 3D Image Visualization as Point Surface. This will toggle either just the scan point clouds or will make predictions connecting the points and to create visualized surfaces. Now that we can scan and change the visual aspects of a scan, we will learn to acquire images and save them to a film strip. First, create a folder on the computer to store the images. Then click the folder icon in the bottom left and select the folder to store the images. Next, click the red record button and click the trigger button for every scan. When recording is complete, Click the red record button again. This will save the images and the point clouds in the selected folder. You can follow these steps to change and load film strips as well. Finally, let's look at the filter tab. This tab is useful for improving and fine tuning any point cloud scan. The two main features are gap filling and spike removal. Having these features toggled on will improve smoothing out the scan. Gap filling can help fill in any points along the profile and areas that are missing. Spike removal identifies areas that have spike noise and sudden increases in the point cloud that can lead to false height information. The other settings contribute to the strength of the gap fill and spike reduction. Make sure to click the Apply Filters button and the newly acquired images will work with the filters enabled. Thank you for watching.